Hi, my name is Madeline Jorgensen, and I'm a junior at Gothenburg High School. She doesn't even go here. And this is my poem, Ice Sculpture. My accomplishments and future goals are collectively a block of ice, slowly melting and slipping out of my grasp. I try and try, but somehow I always melt under the heated stares of others. I hear their thoughts put into words for no other reason than to torment me and see an embarrassed expression frozen on my face. The cold truth is I actually have many accomplishments and am involved in a multitude of things. These are, however, overshadowed. The medals, awards, and trophies from my past are small, singular grains of sand in the desert of people's frozen attitudes. No matter how hard I try, there will always be another sand dune that is higher than mine. Maybe I will be seen, maybe if I am diligent in something then other than schoolwork, I will be seen as more than the girl who can help you with your math homework or translate for you in Spanish 3. I will never give them the answer, just guide them in the right direction, but they want the easy answer. What they don't understand is nothing in life comes easy, at least not for me. We freezing takes time and freezer burn is an all too common condition. Maybe I will have friends if I do stupid things I'm totally against, if I copy someone's homework, if I never ace a test. Maybe I will be seen as equal if I wear a sports jersey with my name on the back, unless I throw or shoot a ball, I am not really there. I can dance to my heart's desire, but they say a sport in which you wear makeup is not really a sport at all. Speech, academics, band, and poetry instead of volleyball, basketball, or soccer, my dreams just melt and flow into a sewer grate on the corner of worthless and ignored two streets that have become very familiar to me. If only everyone could accept that we were meant to be unique. We were meant to be snowflakes. But no one focuses on what makes people special. They may focus on what makes people different, like deviating from the norm is bad. So they use those deviations and turn them into stones. So hurtful words are thrown out in hallways, tripping at the permafrost that holds those people together. I heard more hurtful words in the hallway yesterday morning than I have compliments in the last week. All of this swirls in my head. I know I shouldn't let people melt my dreams into a lifeless puddle. Instead, I should use their icy words to keep my dreams solid. Someday, I will have the courage to build an ice sculpture. And on that day, I will be OK with being the only piece of shining ice in the desert. Thank <laughs> you.